Oh, sweet. PSA mail day. About to make that money. Hello, Tyler. Okay, I'm not hearing voices. I'm not hearing voices. I took my meds today. I'm not hearing voices. Hello, Tyler. Whoa, are you talking to me, little PSA box? I am. How are you? Okay, what is happening? Did I take my meds this morning? Why are you talking to me? I am God. What? God? The God? No, I am God. Oh, really? Sweet, bro. God, man, it's so good to meet you. Man, I talk to you all the time. Sometimes I think you listen, sometimes I'm not so sure. But there's a couple things I wanna tell you, man. Last week, man, I'm telling you, I went to this club, and you know how it gets whenever I go to clubs. Silence. No, not the God. I am the sports car God. Sports car God? What is that? Yes, sports car God. Well, what are you doing here, sports car God? I am here to prove my existence to you, Tyler, and to punish you. You have been very bad. Why? I mean, what did I do? I've been a loyal submitter to PSA for years. Last year, I mean, I submitted to SGC and CSG only because, well, you know, you guys shut down for business and I couldn't submit to you guys. So I know I cheated on you guys a little bit, but it's only because you were shut down. And after all, it didn't turn out so well for me. I learned my lesson, I promise. I didn't spend $50,000 on grading fees last year with you guys. What do you mean punish me? Punish you? Over the last few years, you have made buying, grading, selling, making money look easy. I am here to remind you and your viewers, this is what happens when you take PSA services for granted. You will meet me, the sports car god. I'm so confused. I thought that grading with PSA was a skill. I pick out the cards, I clean the cards, those are all skills. I send the cards to you, and I remove all the cards that are bad. I mean, there is a skill involved. It is kind of easy once you get the hang of it. You guys just have to be open for business a lot more, and then I'll submit more, I promise. So you think, indeed, as easy as it has been, 2022 is now different. PSA is entering a new era. Things will appear to be normal, but occasionally, I will be responsible for grading your cards. You have not been loyal enough. What's well, a good thing, right? I've been loyal, you're gonna grade my cards, we're now friends, I'm friends with the sports card god. This is a great thing, right? Open me, and you will see for yourself. Let this be a reminder to all, that I am real, I exist, and my presence will grow. Many claimed that I did not exist. What better way to prove that the sports car god, the sports car grader of death is real, than to punish even the most loyal of my followers. What the heck? I thought that you were the sports car god, and you were here to be my friend. You're the sports car grader of death? Yes, the sports car god, aka the grader of death. You will receive this punishment and warn everyone about me and my presence. Respect my authority. This can't be that bad. This can't be that bad. I've done this for years. There's no sports card greater of death. There's no sports card greater of death. This little box is just talking to me and I'm imagining everything. I'm just gonna see what the results of the order were. I'm gonna go into PSA's website. I'm gonna take a brief glance at the grades. This is just all in my head. All right, guys, I am freaked out right now. I never knew there was such thing as a sports card god. And by god, I'm not talking about the creator of the universe, I'm talking about the greater of death. And apparently, he has graded my order. Guys, I have graded with PSA for years, and I've never come across this 
entity before, but he has revealed himself to me today, and I took a sneak peek at the grades. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. So today, we reveal the order that was graded by PSA's Sports Card God. Here we go. For those of you that don't know, this order was submitted by me in March, March of 2022. It was received on the 24th. It was logged around the 30th, something like that. And at this time, this is whenever orders were being processed through PSA in about a month for economy services. As it turns out, whenever I submitted these cards, they were all baseball prospects. And all of the baseball prospects, for the most part, right around April, March, April, that's kind of the time to sell. And unfortunately, one month turnaround time turned into five months. I got this order. Uh, it was graded on, golly, the order was graded on August 11th. So one month turned into five months. In addition to that, this is a dual service. So the dual service is more expensive than $50. It was $60 per card. And to add insult to injury, the greater of death got a hold of this order and gave it the ultimate punishment. I've heard whispers of this greater of death, but for the most part, 99.9% .9 of the people out there have never come across the greater of death. I've been grading with PSA almost exclusively for almost over five years. Before that, I was with Beckett. But today is the first time in my life, in the tens of thousands of cards that I've submitted to PSA, that I came across this entity known as the sports card, Greater of Death. And today, after $1,243 of PSA fees, after five months of waiting, after what would have been a one month turnaround time, we get to see the wreckage here on my channel. Here we go. All right, this is gonna be not so good. Let's make sure we, everybody can see. First card, we have an Anthony Volpe autograph, Bowman Sterling die cut. This card is an on-card autograph and PSA has deemed it a nine. Now, I will say that a couple of these cards are absolutely deserving of a nine. Having said that, um, once we see the gem rate in this order, it will be by far my worst gem rate Ever. It may, it is quite possibly the worst gem rate in the history of sports card grading. Stay tuned. So, Anthony Volpe, this is a difficult set to grade because there are surface scratches on these types of cards. Um, but overall, uh, let's pull the light a little bit closer that way. Hopefully, you guys can see it a little bit better. Yeah. So, beautiful card, pretty nice. But, first nine. Next up. We have a Bobby Witt Jr. Bowman Sterling Wave Refractor. So this is a wave refractor. Uh, the waves are notorious for having X-Fractor lines, not X-Fractor printing lines, but X-Fractor, let me rephrase that, not X-Fractor uh, print marks or roller marks, but the actual print lines, those, those horizontal bars that go across the card. This one does not have that. Typically wave surfaces, are much cleaner than regular refractor surfaces just based on how they print um, from my experience. So usually roller marks are not much of an issue. Uh, having said that, this card was deemed to be a nine and uh, don't really know why. That was probably one of the cleaner Sterlings that I did submit. Oh boy. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff coming here. Oh, beautiful. We have next up a Jordan Viers. <laughs> Bowman Blue Wave 9. Now the crazy thing about this is, again, timing is everything with prospects. This product came out in December, January, earlier this year. And the goal is, is to do a really fast turnaround, buy some cards, get them graded in a month, send them back. Well, again, 
PSA didn't give us a warning that uh, one month was gonna turn into five months, I submitted probably 20 economy orders after this order was graded, got them back and sold. For this to be a five month turnaround time, this is an absolute disgrace to PSA. In addition to that, them sticking the grader of death on me, this is gonna last a long time. This little sting, it's gonna last a while. All right, Jordan Viers, another nine. Next up, this is one of the few bright spots in the order. No, no it's not. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another J. Allen. And yes, you could say that some of these things are not as centered well. 60-40 tolerance. You guys proved me wrong. Not every single card here is going to be off-centered. Um, just, just baffling, dude. Just baffling. It's just... Uh, yeah, these guys are, are out of order. Oh, another nine. Another nine. No ten so far. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr. This one looked like it did have a, a pretty good clean surface of all the refractors that I've seen before. Thought that I weeded out all the ones that did not have refractor lines. Corners and edges look clean. Those are usually not a problem with Sterling. So far, five cards in, five nines. Nope. Oh, no ten here. We got us another nine. Henry Davis, Blue Wave, nine. Oh, nice. Jordan Lawler. Oh, Blue Wave, nine. Let's just show this. Look how beautiful this card is. Beautiful, but it's a nine. It's mint, but per the god, that was not Jim Mint. Another Jordan Lawler. <laughs> I needed one of these to Jim so bad, and they did not. This is so pathetic. This is this is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is this is unreal. This is unreal. Ah, insult to injury, they gave me a nine autograph. Thanks, guys. Thanks, God. Thank you, sports card grader of death. Oh, Anthony Volpe, I've done good with these. These are so easy to grade. Not this one. This one comes back a nine. And these mega boxes, there's nothing wrong with the surface on these unless the owner did not take care of them. These cards do not come out with bad surfaces. It's just not what happens. Whoa, we got an eight. <laughs> oh my God, guys. This is pathetic. This is pathetic. I mean, I'm just thinking back to all the orders that I've submitted to PSA um, even whenever it was six dollars to grade, how I vetted cards. This is fit. This isn't even fifty. This is sixty dollars a card. I mean, the 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 controlled variables here are it's me. Like my eyes have not deteriorated. I'm in my mid thirties. Um, they have not deteriorated yet. Um, the only variable is that this is now twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty one product. That's the only variable here is that the cards are not the same cards I've graded previously. But my, like, my criteria for selecting cards has not changed. If anything, it has become more strict because I'm paying more to PSA. Like, this is, this is nuts, dude. This is crazy. All right, what we got next? <laughs> oh, we got two. Hang on, we got two nine nines? We got two nine nines? Yep. Oh, twins. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I, I did miss that probably. So, greater. Oh, got another nine. What's this? Christian Hernandez, Mega Box. That one they're probably going to get off center, top to bottom. You all determine whether or not that's 60 40 or not. Who knows? Oh, what we got here? Oh, we got another nine. These are ultra modern cards. These are not vintage cards. This is not old modern, like the 2017 and old stuff. This is ultra modern cards and I'm getting crushed, crushed. This guy got promoted today. That's a good thing, right? I guess so. <laughs> Guys, I can't say anything. There's nothing to say here. There's literally nothing to say. I mean... 
Dude. Oh, as much as I've talked about PSA, this just is like knife in the chest. The God got me. Sports card greater of death has gotten me. He is a... Uh, this broke me. He broke me today. My will to live is in question. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is just... <sighs> There's no words. There's just no words, man. All right, there's 20 cards in this order. This is card number 19. <laughs> this guy's matching, by the way. Orange Refractor. <laughs> Whew, this is brutal, dude. All right, so before I go to the last card, just a couple things. First and foremost, 2017, 2018, and 2019 were fantastic years before everything went crazy. 2020 was unbelievably crazy. But things changed, starting for me with serial number around four or five. Um, and I could tell things got progressively worse. If you look at my channel, the worst graded card order I ever graded, yes, I made almost $40,000 on that order, yes. That's with getting a gem rate around 40%. Like, my criteria for selecting cards did not change. Had I got my normal gem rate on that order, I would have been pushing close to fifty to $60,000. Like, there's something that clearly has changed. So 2020 was an amazing year. 2021 sucked. Um, still positive, but ROI crashed. 2022 is tracking right in line with 2021. This makes it worse. So over the past five years, things have been very, the sports card hobby has been unbelievable to me. Grading cards has been unbelievable to me. And what I mean by that is me paying $1,243 to PSA for this garbage, I can absorb that. Um, I don't want to absorb that. I want to get what I paid for. That's like me going to the store and getting a $1,200 TV out of, out of the box. It doesn't turn on. I'm not happy about that. I would probably return it. This, there's no recourse. They offered their professional judgment. I clearly disagree. Um, I'm extremely dissatisfied with this product. Extremely dissatisfied. As somebody who has done this for a while, um, like, I, I, I don't think that I've had a mental lapse and that I had some issue in my criteria when grading these cards. I really don't think that's the case. There is some specific uh, consistency issues that are occurring at PSA. I have some theories. I've talked about them on the channel. I do specifically think that dual service is absolutely getting hammered right now. They have more advanced graders on dual service. I have no concerns with the autograph grades, so those were warranted. But I have tremendous concerns with consistency and also the difficulty of grading not being equivalent across tiers. Um, the majority of these cards will be cracked out of their cases and they will be resubmitted to a different third-party grader. That will happen. And I will do the video on it and we can see whether or not I got godded or and by God, at greater of death, or I just really sucked on this order. But the last card in the order is my only Jim Mint card. Thank goodness it was actually on a gold refractor that I can be able to recoup some fees out of. The sad thing is, again, because PSA's turnaround time on this went way beyond the anticipated 90 days, it was five months. Um, I paid a fee, I waited five months, and I got an inferior product. And as a result, um, the value of all of these prospects has gone down. And I knew that that was going to happen, but had I known that it was going to be a five-month window, I never would have gone with PSA. So I got charged a lot of money, 
I did not get the service that I expected or that I'm used to getting and the value has decreased tremendously. This is by far my worst experience with PSA. And it is for sure proof that in my opinion, grading standards do depend on who you get as a grader. Um, guys, the overall gem rate on this order was 5%, 5%. I've never had an order that low. The lowest I've ever had before this was in the 30s. I've never had anything lower than that, ever. And usually whenever I have an order that's in the 30s, it may be because my expectations are that that specific order is supposed to be in the 50s and 60s. I expected this order to be in the 60s and 70s, and I got 5%. I am extremely disappointed with this. I hope that this was at least funny and you guys got to at least enjoy and uh, take, get some laughs at my uh, failures here but I had to post this video and do it in some clever way to just make light of the situation because this is pretty pathetic. <laughs> now, off to Kraken.